Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is Francis, and uh, it's 4.15 p.m. on Friday, the 23rd of May. I just got back from the pool, and uh, anyways, it's very hot out there today, hot and dry. And uh, I pushed my cart, and it has my chair in it. My chair is over by the... Uh, air conditioner intake so it circulates air and it kind of dries the chair off because it gets wet from my bathing suit anyways my suit is uh, rinsed and hanging in the shower I put this this is a shirt I had on earlier today I don't have a bra on see oh, if you can see anyways uh, so I wanted to take my blood sugar, and that's what I did immediately, uh, just maybe five, five, you know, ten minutes, five minutes ago, okay, four, ten. And, you know, um, my blood sugar was 162 three hours ago at 110, okay, after I got home. And I was thinking about it, you know, when I went out for breakfast, I had three cups of coffee, and they have really good coffee at uh, Cool Moose Cafe. They have that Green Mountain um, roasts, and they had blueberry and southern pecan and some decaf. And then they got a big pot of regular and a big pot of decaf. So I started out with a cup of southern pecan. Then the, the second two cups I have just from the big, you know, regular coffee thing. And, and their coffee, even the regular coffee, is bold and strong. It is very, very good. It's like, I don't know, it tastes just as good as 100% Colombian. But I put three teaspoons of sugar in each cup plus some milk or cream, whatever's in that. So I did have some sugar with my breakfast. And there was toast, okay, two toasts, white bread and some potatoes and uh, and then the omelet you know but with cheese and eggs and stuff so you know I don't normally eat that stuff but anyways so the fact that I had like my blood sugar was elevated 162 so anyways it's very hot out so I did get down to the pool about just before three o'clock maybe 240 230 245 and uh, so I went in the pool immediately after I set up my chair, and um, so I swam to the deep end. I did kicks. I did 70 kicks. Then I swam back and forth the length of the pool, I don't know, 10, 15 times. Then I did more kicks, and I wanted to do more than 70, so I pushed myself a little, and I got up to like 80 and 90. I think it was 90. I don't know. So then I just swam some more, you know, nice and easy, back and forth, back and forth. And then uh, I don't know how many laps I did, but maybe 10. And then, so I was only in the pool once. And um, so then I did more leg kicks. So, so I got up to 70, 80, 90, and I just kicked out. And then the last 20 I did as fast as I could. And I'm like really moving the water. The water's like blasting out off the surface, you know, like going up. And I really kicked out to like my legs, I couldn't kick anymore. You know, I didn't get a cramp or anything, but you know, I was in a um, aerodynamic whatever, and I just pushed my legs to the limit. I did 110 kicks that last uh, set. So if you add it all up, I did about 270 kicks total. And that's more, I've, I've usually been lucky to get up to 200. But anyways, then I just swam back and forth in the pool a few times. And, you know, I do backstrokes, so I'm doing this kind of, you know, with my arms. And I do breaststrokes. So my, my arm muscles and my chest is getting some exercise, okay? So, uh, so anyways, I get back from the pool, and my blood sugar was 88. So in three hours, it went from 162 to 88. That's uh, 62, 72, uh, 74 points. Just just going down a pool and doing some exercise. I didn't take any medication. Okay. 
And when I came back, you know, from eating breakfast, like I said, I had two carrots and I had a couple of glasses of these. And I went down to pool. And, you know, when I exercised, and I just sat down long enough to dry because I was in the shade. I didn't get really get in the sun. I got enough sun waiting at bus stops today. But so I felt pretty good. So pushing my cart back home, I'm really tired. You know, I mean, I'm pushing my cart. And it's hot out. It's over 90 degrees here this afternoon. And I got back here about 4 o'clock. Yeah, so it's like 4.20 right now. But it's really, really hot. So I was down there basically at the pool for an hour, hour swimming. And then I sat down, took a rest. And I came back. But see how your blood sugar can change? And, and, and I'm making this video just as an example. See, I don't need medication to control my blood sugar. You know, you eat it, you eat a little bit of bread, toast, eggs, whatever, and you go out and do some exercise for an hour. You come back, check your blood sugar, and it drops like more than fifty. Okay, so, so you could control your blood sugar with diet and exercise. Okay, and I have been doing this for a long time. Okay, and you know all these doctors that you go to. You know, they think they can cure everything with a pill. And you can't because these pills have side effects. And, and, and I really believe some of the glucose medication I was on in prior years was a contributing factor to my heart failure. And now that my heart has gotten better, uh, now all of a sudden I qualify to go back on this medication. No, I don't think so. I ain't never going to take that medication voluntarily again. You're going to have to strap me down, put me in a straitjacket, and inject it, because I ain't going to swallow any pills. Okay, so there you go. Okay. So I wanted to show you the bread I got. I, this was frozen. I left it on the counter. It's organic flax and spelt bread by one degree. This bakery is in Canada. And this bread is so delicious. This is the most delicious bread I've ever tasted in my life. I, I made a video and I talked about, see, it's like, it's like, it was like a whole wheat, but it is so delicious. And, you know, it, it folds nice, you know, and, you know, and it has a wonderful taste. I don't like putting anything on I want to just taste the bread. Yeah, the treat. And, a little bit of Versatrol. Gotta bring my blood sugar back up a little bit, right? 88's under 100. But after I eat two slices of bread and drink this wine, it should be back up. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. Oops, I'm talking with my mouth full of food. Sorry. Pardon me. Anyway, so that's all I really that's all this video is about. Recording my my good exercise and my drop of blood sugar reading. With my blood sugar kit. Okay. And I took three readings today. I took one at seven o'clock this morning, one o'clock this afternoon, and four o'clock. So maybe I'll take another one before I go to bed and see where my blood sugar goes after I eat and drink a few things and then maybe before I go to bed at 8, 8 o'clock, that's a Friday night, but I'm tired, you know. When I got here, I just I just wanted to flop in bed because, you know, and you know what, with my blood sugar at 88, a lot of people think, oh, gee, that's normal, you know, but Francis, when Francis's blood sugar gets down, you know, like under 100, I get I feel weak and tired, and I feel like I need to go to bed, okay? So, you know what? Maybe uh, a blood sugar level of 120 or below is not normal for Francis, okay? Okay, maybe, maybe my blood sugar needs to be, like, right where it is, okay? The way I look at it, you know, where do they get all these normal readings from? Uh, cadavers? <laughs> Bye.